Attention Institute personnel. After some close calls, the Earth has finally completed another orbit around the Sun, and that seems like as good as an excuse as any to reflect on the last year and talk about what we have planned for the next one. Now in this reality at least, 2021 was pretty rough, but in the pocket dimension in which the Templin Institute resides, things actually went pretty well. In fact, I dare say it might have been our best year yet. Hopefully there is no direct correlation there. Over the last 12 months, we introduced a new division to the Institute, Arsenal, and the investigations they've performed into the weapons, vehicles, and other constructs from across alternate worlds have gotten a tremendous response. We embraced long-form content, creating mammoth guides on how to build a tank force for your interstellar army, or launch a planetary assault, and broke for the first time the fabled one-hour barrier. We began to reimagine alternate worlds, most notably creating new ideas of what the First Order and New Republic might have been. In our own reality, we raised the banner of victory atop the Banff Springs Hotel and commanded a T-72 main battle tank on the outskirts of Budapest. We brought the story of the Antares Confederacy to a close and became Twitch partners in the process. And in just the last month, we've also expanded the kinds of rewards offered to our patrons, with campaign ribbons, patches, and more. It's impossible to discuss everything we did in the last year without this video becoming even more of a smug, self-congratulatory mess than it is already. What I think I'm most excited about, however, are the Templin dispatches we started releasing in 2021. Unscripted thought pieces that allow us to cover certain elements from alternate worlds much quicker than we've previously been able. Dispatches are going to be a fundamental part of the Institute in 2022, both because they allow us to release more content in any given week, but also because they're a good way to help us recover from mammoth episodes or go on vacation without putting the channel on pause. I am very grateful to have been able to conduct a field investigation to Atlanta for a month without the channel imploding. Even with that month-long break from the usual content, though, I am incredibly proud to say that the Templin Institute produced more minutes worth of scripted investigations in 2021 than any previous year, and by a pretty wide margin. I'm not sure this is exactly the healthiest way to gauge the success of the channel, and we're not necessarily going to actively try to beat this record in 2022, but if nothing else, it's a great indicator of what the Templin Institute can accomplish when run with even a small degree of competence. Even so, there's still a few items on our to-do list. The Templin podcast remains in limbo, and I'm hoping to take another crack at getting it out there this year. We've also occasionally talked about creating a Templin Institute forum, a place for in-depth world-building discussions that aren't really suited for Discord. And we also need to get back to producing regular Q&As and other bonus content on the Templin Archives channel. Aside from that, though, there's a few other ideas I'd love to try out in 2022. The first are some sort of theme months, where we exclusively produced content from a specific Templin Institute division. A dossier month, for example, investigating legendary figures every week. At the time this video goes live, there should be a poll in the community section here on YouTube asking which division you'd like to see take over for a month. We won't necessarily listen to you, but it doesn't hurt to take the temperature of the room, so to speak. And of course, we have to think about the next iteration of Stellaris Invicta. I can't speculate on when it will return or in what form, but rest assured we'll be using everything we learned in Season 2 to make Season 3 hopefully even better. We might even try something completely different. Who knows? Maybe Season 3 is a dating simulator. Or not, I'm just thinking out loud. But that is just the briefest of looks into what we have planned for 2022. But I'd like to hear your thoughts. Was there an area in the last year in which you think the Templin Institute did particularly well or need some improvement? Any ideas for what we should try this year? Let me know in the comments below, and thank you all so much for your support. The Templin Institute investigates the nations, factions, and organizations of alternate worlds. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to join the Templin Institute, consider pledging to our Patreon page. Along with increased security access, you'll be able to vote in polls to determine future topics, get custom wallpaper every week, and receive some other exclusive rewards.